Hello there, this is Alan from Jinan DX Tech CNC Machine. As we all know, welding always plays an important role in the modern metal processing industry. Yet combining with the ever-advanced laser technology, it's becoming even more productive and sharp. Today, at this workshop, together with our technical engineer, we are going to introduce the main guidelines on how to use this fiber laser welding machine. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, you have to connect the welding machine with the electricity. Then, you have to connect the auto wire feeder with the electricity as well before you turn on it. And you have to adjust the gas pressure, for example, the nitrogen, to be 0.5 ampere. Then you have to load in the circuit breaker, turn on the key switch, and the emergency stop button of the machine. Then turn on the water chiller to make sure the temperature is between is around 25 degrees Celsius. Then you can turn on the laser source. Then the operating system panel will be ready, and you have to click the start up, gas and the wire feeding function to make sure these functions are on set. The language for the operating panel can be changed for different region customers with English, Korean, French, Chinese and so on for options. This is a device for auto-feeding the wire for welding. As you can see, we have different ways about the groove of this metal ring for passing through the wire, like 0.8 mm, 1.0 mm, etc., which can ensure different diameters of the wire be fed through. Then you have to let the wire go through the metal holes all the way from the right side to the left until it comes to the welding head side ready for welding. Then you have to fix the device on top to make sure it's stable. Then turn on the auto feeding button. As you can see, that is exactly how the wire would be automatically fit for welding. When the wire come outside near the welding height to be ready for welding, you also have to do the last setup. If the wire come outside too long, you have to use the auto return function of the wire feeder to return some of the wire until the length of the wire can be fit into the joint welding height. Then you let the wire go through the thin metal tube which downside the welding head, then screw and fix it.
Then double check the operating screen to make sure startup gas and、uh, wire feeding and continuous welding model are on set. Then clamp the conductive wire clip before you can start the real welding process. After welding, you have to turn off the laser source first, then turn off the water chiller, switch off the emergency stop button and the key switch of the machine, offloading the circuit breaker and the auto wire feeder. Okay, the above are the main steps on how to operate the fiber laser welding machine. As you can see, it's pretty simple. One more thing. Lastly, I want to emphasize here is that the good part of this handheld laser welding machine is that it has a relatively small dimension, which can help our foreign customer save a lot of money in terms of shipping. If you or your company do need such a fiber laser welding machine for your metal business, I do suggest you come and place the order from us. What are you waiting for?